How can you go beyond your limits? How can you defeat someone who can't be defeated? Someone that no matter how strong you are, no matter what form you use, you won't beat him. A minute in a fight is all it takes for you to be defeated. How can you defeat someone like that? How can you save your loved ones, the universe that you live in, to show that it doesn't matter how strong your enemy is, you will always find a way to defeat him. But what if something happened, even though you believed in yourself, even though you thought you could do it, but he turns, holds the weapons, as he gets it, he breaks the glass of the control room and points the weapon at them. He says, I know our spaceship's here, so you're gonna hand it over. Then he yells for the other prisoners, telling them to come along, they're not gonna hurt them. We go to Miro's ship, as they get an incoming call, there's an emergency dispatch straight from the HQ, telling them that the inmates at the Galactic Patrol prison have staged a massive prison break. And the incident actually happened one minute ago. The message came late because they lost contact with the prison. Jaku remembers one minute ago. That was right about when Moro made his last wish. All fingers point towards Moro that he used the last wish to make the prisoners escape. Just like I said before. The Namekian start getting his memory back. Then it all comes back to him. About Moro's last wish. He says, yes. For that final wish, I demanded that every prisoner in the galactic prison go free. So now we know what his last wish is. Now we won't speculate anymore. We won't say that it was maybe immortality or just like I thought actually it would be that he would never be sealed once more. He wants to use them somehow. But why though? I just don't get it. Why wish for them to go free when you could wish for something else, something to give you the edge over the beings in the universe, like to never be sealed again or to get a lot more powerful or to make your absorption a lot faster by the time that you absorb absorbed one planet after the wish you will absorb 10 there's a lot of things that more could have wished for a lot of things that will give him the edge i know that they can help him somehow but at the end of the day it's all about him it's all about how strong can he become and how much power can he absorb i see them helping him to an extent but after that he won't need them again we've all been fooled since they hyped this wish a lot actually and it turns out it was just for the prisoners to escape who knew? We go back to Nami. Goku and Vegeta ask him, You let them loose, but why? Just like what we're thinking. But he doesn't answer. He just says, Here they come. As a giant ship is floating above them. Goku's feeling a lot of key coming from it. As it fires an energy beam towards them, a giant explosion happens. The shockwave could be seen from out of Namek. Goku, Vegeta, and the Lord of Lords dodge it somehow. But as the smoke starts to clear, we see Moro is on top of the ship. Kneeling before him is Sagampo. You've brought a small army, I see. Well done. Indeed. And now Moro, as promised, will share his power with all of them. So this is a new technique from him. He doesn't only just absorb energy, he can share his own energy to make fighters stronger. As Goku and Vegeta are looking at the ship, something starts happening to it. As they're looking in shock, Goku feels that the ones inside have grown in key. He suspects that Moro used his magic again. The prisoners leave the land in front of Goku and Vegeta. They're now ready to fight with their power and the power of Moro. Vegeta in anger now knows why Moro was confident a minute ago. From the ship he's looking at him and smiling. As the prisoners charge at them, Goku and Vegeta transform to their Super Saiyan blue form. They're going serious right off the bat. The fight begins as one of the prisoners charge at Goku. He dodges one of his attacks as more of them go at him. He's dodging every attack from left to right and goes straight between them. He grabs two of their legs and starts spinning them, hitting the others with them. Goku's power is overwhelming them and that's not surprising. He's in his Super Saiyan blue form. We see Vegeta at his taking five and more at the same time is winning against all of them dodging attacks and firing key blasts as the masses as the explosions happen we see that the load of lords vegeta and goku are taking all of them at the same time but moro isn't worried he's just looking and smiling as the prisoners start losing hope sagambo tells them to keep going they can't hold all of them at once after that goku vegeta and the load of lords charge at them but suddenly Goku loses his Super Saiyan blue form. He and Vegeta go back 
back to the Super Saiyan God form. Why is that? The Lord of Lords tells them Moro has started absorbing energy again. As we see a long shot of what's happening, Moro is absorbing the energy from the whole planet again. If you didn't notice, now as soon as he started absorbing, they just lost the Super Saiyan Blue form. Didn't take a lot of time. This is why I'm saying, how will they beat this guy when as soon as he started absorbing energy, they lost their Super Saiyan Blue form. And now he will just absorb and absorb and absorb. How would they beat him? This is all questions that I want to know the answer to actually. Goku isn't happy with what's going on. He says, not so fast as he charges toward Moro. Sagambo will handle him as he jumps towards Goku as they're both going at each other. Goku loses his Super Saiyan God form and goes back to his Super Saiyan 3 form and gets hit by Sagambo with a punch on his face sending him crashing to the ground. He even loses his Super Saiyan 3 form and goes back to his space form. The more powerful Moro is, the faster he absorbs and in a span of a minute, Goku lost his Super Saiyan Blue form and went back to his space form. It didn't even take a lot of time. How is that possible? How can you defeat him? Vegeta on the other hand is still fighting but he also loses his Super Saiyan God form and goes back to his base form. As soon as that happens, he gets hit again. They get back up and transform once more but now to their Super Saiyan forms. They say the moment they drop their God down, their transformations fail them. So what they're saying is at those moments that they lost their forms, they're battling Moro. They're trying to keep as much energy as they have but when they drop their guard down, Moro just absorbs their energy that fast. As they're standing, the Lord of Lords is beaten and can't go on anymore. The battle against Moro in space have taken a toll on him. Suddenly from behind Goku and Vegeta, the prisoners attack them. As their fight go on, Goku screams for Moro. Hey Moro, what? are you really after here? What's the point of all of this? What's the point of taking the lives of a whole planet just to get energy? Why? Moro says to create an ideal galaxy where I am free to consume planets as I wish. Gathering these allies is one small step towards that end. Honestly, it's just like a god of destruction. He destroys planets as he wishes. Moro wants to absorb planets as he wishes. When he absorbs planets, the planets get destroyed. So he's just like a god of destruction. Vegeta tells him you hold a grudge against the galactic patrol more so calmly tells him i wonder what i can say is i detest the sort of peace that you people want to preserve on this planet and others all those who would strive for such nonsense should be eradicated as goku and vegeta are on the ground looking at him they lose their super saiyan forms now they can't even transform to any form that they have as vegeta says how many times will we fall for his tricks how many times will they fall against him well, now they're fighting the prisoners in their best forms as Moro is just absorbing more and more of Namek's energy, they're having a hard time. Moro is just absorbing their energy, not the prisoners. That's why they are getting weaker, while their opponents are strong. But now they get help, as in front of them, Jacko and Miros get there. They start firing at the prisoners. Miros says, defeating Moro is impossible at this point, given the circumstances we have to retreat and I'm with him on this one. But if they retreat, Moro's gonna get stronger and absorb Nami. Then he's gonna go to the next planet. And if they fought him, he's gonna absorb their energy. What then? The Namekian heals the Lord of Lords. As he gets up, Goku calls for the Galactic Patrol ship. On it, the one is called Iriko. He tells him that he gotta take the ship and get out of this planet. Goku says, I hear you, Miros. Grab my hand, we will escape with instant transmission. Miros calls for the Lord of Lords. Use your own instant transmission to wrap to the Galactic Patrol HQ. The Lord of Lords grabs the Namekian and leaves. Goku tells Vegeta to grab his hand, but Vegeta didn't do it. Something is wrong with him. Goku yells at him, what's the hold up? If he absorbs any more energy, I won't be able to use instant transmission. But Vegeta says, stupid god power. He's angry. Goku is shocked what's going on. Vegeta, if you look at his face in anger, in agony, he says, forget instant transmission. We Saiyans pride ourselves on physical might and nothing more a warrior race has no need for fancy tricks and yet i've been reduced to this from his face he's just so angry he doesn't know what 
to do now. Goku reaches with his hand and says, let's go, you wanna die here or something. But Vegeta just looks at the ship leaving. He says, go ahead, Kakarot. This is where I part ways with you people. He flies and leaves Goku on Namek. There's no time. Prisoners charge at Miros, Jaku and Goku. He uses instant transmission to leave. And this is where they say goodbye to each other in this story. Vegeta went to the ship with Eriko and Goku used instant transmission to go to the Galactic Patrol headquarters. From the ship as they leave the orbit, from the pack we see that Namek is different, energy and lightning is all over it. As Eriko says to Vegeta we're heading back to the Galactic Patrol HQ, Vegeta gets his hand up and says no you're going to fly this thing where I want to go as he asks where's that exactly Vegeta tells him we're going to planet Yardrat so this is it this is Vegeta's plan he wants to go to Yardrat the planet that Goku learned instant transmission at what is there on Yardrat if I'm gonna guess these people know a lot of techniques that could help maybe that's why Vegeta's going there he acknowledged that his power failed him but when it failed him what now he knows that he needs something else that's why he's answer is to go to plant your drug but with that we end chapter 50 of the dragon ball super manga we saw how they felt despair how they failed planet namek we said in this chapter goodbye to goku and vegeta they parted ways we saw our new moro who just gets stronger what now what is gonna happen on your track and how will Goku and Vegeta beat him and save the whole universe this was the chapter that we said goodbye to the journey of Goku and Vegeta their road split and now the fate of the universe lies on their shoulders this was the story of one last try to save the universe thank you for watching and saying that I will see you on the next one bye bye